All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel and to some more waterfowl patterning. And today we've got another very interesting combination to try out. And it's one that I've kind of heard a bunch of different things about. Some people have never had a problem with it. Some people like it. Some people hate it. Some people think you can't ever do it. So today we're going to kind of start to test this, which is something I've been wanting to try for a long time, just to see what actually happens and what kind of patterns we can get out of it. So for the setup I've got out here today, I brought out this guy, which is an old Mossberg 500. 100A, but it has Mossberg's select choke on it, which is essentially Mossberg's version of a poly choke, where you can tighten or loosen this collar and it squeezes the little fins on the inside of the barrel to adjust your choke constriction. Now, a lot of people love to hate these. Yes, they are a little bulky and a little big and maybe a little ugly for some shotguns and things like that. And some of them work better than others, but this particular one on this Mossberg 500 has always performed pretty much how it's supposed to but the big thing for today is running a steel shot waterfowl shell through one of these chokes can you do it should you do it and if so what kind of pattern are you able to get out of it now can you do it yes you can but these chokes are not as strong as a fixed barrel or a screw in modern style choke would be so you can't go hog wild and crank this collar down and expect it to last so for today's test i have it just the slightest little bit screwed in to where it measures right at a 620 constriction, which is an improved cylinder choke. It matches the exact same constriction as my Remington's for their improved cylinder. So we're not over constricting anything and it should be just fine for a waterfowl steel shell. Would I run a steady diet of them through there? Probably not, but we'll see how it does set to its improved cylinder setting with today's shells. And as for the shells I brought out here today, I decided to go with something a little bit nicer or a little bit more middle of the road than a big giant steel pellet that being these some of the herders waterfowl steel shells these ones are their 12 gauge three inch one and an eighth ounce of steel number two shot moving about 1550 feet per second so steel twos are not going to be quite as harsh as something like a steel bb or a steel t shot or something like that would be so this should be a decent starting point for us and we know these shells are some pretty decent patterning performers so we'll see what this combination can actually give us so as for today's test, we're not handicapping anything at all considering this setup. I've got the duck target at 40 yards and I've got the chronograph so we can get our velocity from the shells. So let's get you guys to view this target and we'll take the shot and just see what kind of a pattern we can get from a steel number two shell through an old select choke. I think this is either gonna go one of two ways. Either it's gonna work out perfectly fine and we're gonna see a pretty nice pattern or it's gonna be absolutely a terrible pattern. I don't know that we're gonna see anywhere in between, but let's sit over here and take the shot and just see what happens. All right, so that shell says it gave us 1319 through the chronograph. The boss claim is 1550. So if that number is correct, then we were not anywhere close to that box velocity. Now, could this chronograph have been reading the wad? It's definitely possible, but I can't remember off the top of my head what we had been seeing out of these shells when we've tested them previously. So I'll jump in and editing here when I get the chance to go back and look at what kind of velocities we had seen previously. And yes, I do believe that number is correct considering we had seen mid 1300s or so multiple times in our previous tests but either way how did they actually do down there at 40 yards through that old select choke let's go check it out and see what it gave us all right so now we're down here at our 40 yard paper and this is what we got and i gotta say it looks pretty decent now we were just a little bit low on the paper which probably came from me just not having a ton of experience with this particular shotgun and its point of impact so that's most likely on me but we still probably would have gotten this duck to at least come out of the sky a little bit we still had a couple of them right through the lower end of the body there that definitely would not have felt good and if that pattern was centered up a little better he's got a pretty nasty swarm of them all around him so yeah that doesn't look bad whatsoever i wouldn't hesitate to use that out there on a duck hunt or something if we centered that pattern up i mean you can see there's no voids or anything down there that a duck would be able to get through and the voids that are there are definitely nothing major you can see there's a little one over there on the right and maybe another one or two just smaller ones over here that are no bigger than about your fist so overall that pattern doesn't look bad whatsoever if i showed you a picture of that you would probably never know that it didn't come from some kind of a modern setup. It is pretty circular overall. We might have had a couple little stragglers up there at the top above the duct paper, but 
really considering what a lot of people online and stuff are saying about these chokes and running steel shot through them and stuff and how bad they do i wouldn't hesitate to use that in the slightest at least not with these shells now as we test these with something like a steel bb shell with a little bit larger pellet is that going to change i don't know but it seems like so far with a steel 2 you're going to be just fine if you set it at something like an improved cylinder construction so ultimately that's not a terrible pattern whatsoever that would absolutely get it done all day long so really no complaints from me at all considering the setup and the shell i didn't quite know what to expect coming into it based on what i've seen and heard about these old adjustable chokes and steel shells but i'd say we're off to a pretty decent start and i definitely plan on testing some other shells and stuff through it to see what actually happens and what it can continue to do but for a starting point i'd say we're looking perfectly fine Okay, and here's the wad from that shell, and it's definitely nothing fancy, but it's not all torn up either. We might have had this one left side pedal over here open up just a little farther than the rest, but that's really not anything unusual or that I'd be too concerned with. But there's no damage to it. There's no snags or anything on the tips of the wad. There's no big holes or pinholes or tears or rips or anything like that. You can see those little darker lines along the pedals. That's from the grooves between the fins on the inside of that choke. But they weren't snagging on anything or tearing the wad up so this wad at that improved cylinder constriction with these steel twos did perfectly fine definitely nothing i'm concerned about at all here that's for sure all right y'all well what did you think about that pattern right there it's definitely a plenty usable enough waterfowl pattern all day long if you center that up there's not a duck that's going to be able to make it through that so for a starting point here i'd say we're looking perfectly fine that's definitely a combo that i wouldn't be scared to use out there on a waterfowl hunt now like i kind of mentioned earlier would i run a steady diet of steel shells through one of these old select chokes or poly chokes or something probably not but for the occasional duck here or duck there or whatever it seems like we're going to be fine so far now i definitely wouldn't go screwing that collar down very much tighter i don't think but i really don't think we need to either with a pattern like that so i wouldn't say there's very much to complain about so far here but i guess leave your thoughts in the comments is that about what you expected to see were you surprised one way or the other do you have an old select choke or poly choke and do you run or have you tried steel shells through it and if so what kind of results have you seen and is there another steel shell or something else in particular that you want to see us try with that old select choke let me know all that down below i definitely plan on testing some other shot sizes and some other shells and stuff through that choke to see what it actually does and we may even play around with constriction a little bit from a cylinder up to maybe a modified or something like that and just see what happens is there a point where it just absolutely starts to ruin our pattern or not that's kind of what i want to find out here but for today that seems like a pretty perfectly fine and usable pattern and combination so no complaints here at the end of the day but with that being said i've got some more testing to get done for you guys so i'm gonna get back to it as always we have the channel instagram as well as the mailbox where you can send stuff if you'd like all that information will be in the description if you're interested in it but i'm gonna get back to it so i'll see y'all in the next one